According to police, around 11 p.m., the victims were all liming on the eastern side of Building F, Phase 1 powder magazine, when a dark-colored vehicle drove onto the compound, turned around and stopped at the entrance. Two men, clad in dark-colored clothing, alighted from the vehicle and started shooting in the direction of the group. The men then returned to the vehicle to make their escape. 36-year-old Jonathan Osmond was pronounced dead at the scene, while 22-year-old Shaquille Otley, 57-year-old Antonio Jack, and 31-year-old Sadiqi Otley died at hospital. Eight others, aged 19 to 39, were taken to hospital to be treated for gunshot wounds. On Sunday, Commissioner of Police Erla Harewood Christopher visited the scene with her team to get a first-hand view of what transpired. She's condemning the act of violence. It is senseless and clearly these young persons have no regard to life. And it is not a situation that we will continue to condone. We will not condone that. We will ensure that all our required resources are applied to ensure we have proper investigations done in this matter. Police officials say initial inquiries into the shooting indicate that it may be related to turf. We also know in the Western Division the propensity for areas to have flare-ups and so on because the fact is, and the community knows, that there are elements of gang activity in these districts here. So yes, the area has been quiet for a while and it it is not only sad and somewhat, I would say, unexpected that we had that level of violence directed at this community. But Divisional Commander, Senior Superintendent Gavin Henry, reiterated the TTPS's stance when it comes to TILF. One of the key components of any of our strategies is hearing what the residents have to say, right? What are their concerns? And directing our strategies and activities towards addressing that. Right? So with, with respect to turf, no criminal and no turf here. Right? This is Kokorit residents and the people in this building, this turf belongs to them. On Sunday, members of the Victims Support Unit were on hand to provide assistance to members of the community. Residents have been told to expect some inconvenience as police ramp up activities in this area. Stacey Ann Providence, TDT News.